The Luminous Mystery of the Rosary of Love The First Luminous Mystery, The Baptism of Jesus Fruit of the Mystery, Openness to the Holy Spirit Love makes all things new. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In my baptism, I received the birth of a new life. I became a new creature that ages no longer. The life of this new creature is divine, a life that is all love, for God is love. O oh Jesus, renew us by your Spirit. Let us become people of love. Come, Holy Spirit, you who are eternal youth. You are the love, the new spirit, the new heart, which has promised us a relationship with the Father, to whom we pray with confidence. The Second Luminous Mystery, The Wedding of Cana, Fruit of the Mystery, To Jesus Through Mary Love wants to rejoice. This the first of his signs. Jesus did at Cana in Galilee, and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed in him. The first sign of his glory was the transformation of water into wine. Therefore, the sign God used to reveal his glory was something that was intended for the joy of man. The glory of God is love. Love wants to bring joy. It is joy that leads to our belief in our God who is love. Mary, the handmaid of the Lord, engages herself for the joy of humanity because God is joy. O oh Mary, we thank you for your courage, your confidence, and your faith in God's love. Like God, you also want to be nothing less than the cause of our joy. Obtain for us the grace that we too become servants of joy, and in this way credible witnesses of God who is love. We ask this to Jesus with you by praying to God the Father who is the source of all happiness. The Third Luminous Mystery the proclamation of the kingdom of God, fruit of the mystery, repentance and trust in God. The kingdom of God is a kingdom of filial love. Truly, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. To become like children does not mean to become childish, but childlike. It's about becoming like children, to live in the moment, to be unsuspecting, to not calculate. Instead, give yourself as you are, little, weak, dependent on others, not complicated, trusting, open, able to marvel, and needing love. In order to get to the heart of a child, let us pray to him whose beloved children we are. The fourth luminous mystery, the transfiguration, fruit of the mystery, desire for holiness. Love transfigures, and he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his garments became white as light. The darkness of ignorance, suffering, and sin are wiped away, for those who have believed in love and opened themselves to it experience the glory, light, and bliss of love. Let us not be frightened or paralyzed by the negativity in life. God only allows evil if a greater good is possible. May we keep our eyes focused on the risen Jesus and become beams for others. Let us turn to the one who will transfigure us too and pray in joyful hope. The fifth luminous mystery, the institution of the Eucharist, fruit of the mystery, adoration. Love wants to unite. I have earnestly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. And he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in memory of me. Jesus, you have instituted the Eucharist, so that we may never forget what you have done for us. You have accomplished the greatest act of love, by giving your life for us on the cross. But that was not enough. You wanted to unite with us completely. In every Eucharistic communion, you want to widen our heart to the dimensions of your own heart, which embraces every human being and every creature in the same love. 
You want us to laugh like you and in you. Communicating in your love, we shall be able to pardon, to repay evil with good, and even to defeat our death by transforming it into a love offering for the salvation of the world. You say, I am the bread prepared to strengthen you. The one who eats it cannot be afraid to die. Jesus, how wonderful! How can I give thanks to you for this sacrament of love? May my whole life become Eucharist, thanksgiving, a hymn of praise, an ongoing Magnificat with Mary, Magnificat on waking, Magnificat before any work, Magnificat before each meeting, Magnificat in joy and sorrow, Magnificat in evening, Magnificat when I wake up at night, Magnificat always and everywhere, to the praise of our Father, to whom we owe this heavenly bread of life.